Alrighty guys, welcome back to Lens Life. Today I will be discussing this guy right here. This is my girlfriend and I's camping setup. All the camping gear that we usually would take out with us, not including our sleeping system and not including our food. So to get started, I'm actually going to put this guy on the ground. We just got back from camping, um, so it's a total mess in there right now. And that's why I'm going to take it out right now, uh, show you what's in it, and then put it back in a more organized fashion. So I'll start out. We got our simple uh, cook system. And that includes, here we got the two Stanley systems. And our Coleman stove. On top of that, we have a easy pan to use, and I'll explain why in a moment. A chamois for cleaning. A nice skillet that we can use making pancakes, stuff like that. Some Don dish soap and some hand sanitizer. Our hand sanitizer is actually in the front of the Jeep right now because we were just using it. Um, usually that would be in this bag as well. And I have the hand sanitizer and the um, Dawn dish soap here wrapped in tape just so that it doesn't spill everywhere and make a total mess. But going through here, so the Stanley, this is I think called like the camp set. I don't know, I'll put it down in the description so that you guys can check it out. This basically comes with four plates, four bowls, a nice spatula clamps together. I don't usually use it that much, but nice to have. And a spoon, a large stir spoon. So that's nice. It also has a, a normal pan that would come on top here and fold down. Um, not sure where it is. Maybe it's at a past campsite. But so we put the, toss this one in there instead. This is just an old one that we had around the house. Uh, works great. Actually just used it this morning. Next up we have a cutting board. As you can see we've used it a few times. And four sporks because nothing says camping like a good spork, right? Then we have a hot pad or a hot thing to grab, you know, this guy on the fire maybe. As you can see we've used before. And then this is something I thought was awesome. Is actually a, a, a drying rack. So after you've donned and washed your dishes, you can actually post it up just like this, even the bowls as well, to dry them out. Which I'll put together right now for you to see. So as you can see, very great design for drying your dishes. All right, moving on. Obviously, we have a huge uh, pot here that can be used for boiling potatoes, which we've used in the past for. Um, but it also works as a really great storage system for putting all this stuff away. And then a lot of you guys have seen this before. This is like, I think it was 12 bucks or something. I got it from Cabela's. And this works great. It's got that pinch handle design, and the lid here, and then just two cups in the middle. And now I have seen people put burners in here as well as been able to fit a, uh, a small propane tank. So that's another option with this, but we mainly just use this for making our oatmeal in the morning. Put that back on like this, and you can clamp or shut. Easy enough, really compact, nice to have on hand. We used it in the fire this morning, as you can see it. Uh, that's kind of coat that it gives it um, when cooking in the fire. This pan will usually only cook on our Coleman, and I'll show you that next. I'm just gonna wrap all this stuff up quick. And again, usually there's a pot that goes on top of here with the folding handle like this one that Stanley makes, um, but I have misplaced that one, of course. So, those are the main ones that we use. They work great, and it closes just like this. Easy enough. So again, a skillet, pretty straightforward in how we use this. I'll show you though on the Coleman stove. So this 
So our Coleman, I mean, just like any other Coleman, I think we actually got this for around 43 or 46 bucks on Amazon. I'll link it below, but it's the best price that I've found anywhere else. So it sets up just like this. We have a We wrap this in a paper towel so it doesn't make too much noise in there. Um, this is pretty much your spout for, for hooking up your propane, which we usually will keep two tanks in the bucket. We also have a ton stored at the house here, um, but two tanks is probably well over enough for a week in a camping. Uh, we've been using this one, I think, for three camp trips already now and still is working. So they're still full, so that's doing good. But that'd be my only complaint with the Coleman is that this guy's drip wiggling around. It's a little annoying. But the windscreen's pulled nicely. You can close it down there for easy travel with the handle. So Coleman, obviously one of the best, best ways to go when it's talking about camping stoves. I forgot to show it, but this uh, this would just go right on top of the two burners there. And it uh, heats pretty evenly, so we, we've made pancakes on it, I think two or three times now, and it's worked great for us. Uh, it's, not, it's definitely not a nece necessity, but something that's more of a nice to have. And then the chamois here, of course, just works great for cleaning dishes, as well as protecting this skillet when we toss it in the bucket here. All right, next up in the camping bin, we have this large bag that usually gets in the way, but this is what we use for our trash system. So we have some large black trash bags here. So since we go camping in the Jeep, we have that back tire there. Any vehicle with a back tire, this would work well. But so this is an all top um, tire bag. And so the way this works is Use these straps here and you can lock it down on the back of your tire and you can toss the trash bag right in there and it works great. There's hole, holes in the bottom so liquid can run through. But basically we put our trash bag in here, wrap it around the sides, and close the top when needed and we'll take the trash out or put it away at night to avoid any uh, friendlies visiting us. But this works great. I'm not going to put it on my tire right now because my tire is very dirty. Um, but a great way for trash to some wall camping. Next up we have our tools. We have a Gomboy saw, a very simple hatchet. This is the survivor knife you have seen in a past video. Um, I will be doing a review on this and how I built it uh, so you guys can kind of follow along. But basically it's you got your rot knife and your fire steel and a ton of other essential emergency items in here, um, just because. But this is a knife I usually carry right here on me while camping. Uh, easy hatchet, it's been sharpened a ton of times, so I could probably go for a new one by now. As you can see, it's getting worn here from um, slamming through some wood uh, for, for our fires. This one's not ne necessary to have in here, but it's a, I like having it. It's a Gomboy saw. And this works great. Um, cuts through wood like butter. It's on the pull stroke. A lot of people don't know that. Uh, when you're using these, it's on the pull, and that'll uh, speed speed through the cut a lot better. Instead of putting force, that'll just dull your blades a lot quicker. And this has the locking system here. And I usually just try to keep this in the sheath at all times. Not an essential again, but a nice to have counter assault. Uh, I think I just got this for like 20 bucks at, at Gander Mountain. This guy works great. Swipes right out, just bear spray. Um, release the tab like this here. Launch the button and I think you're good. So it looks like the range of this product is 25 feet, which is uh, pretty crazy for some spray. And it, the whole canister will empty in about 5.5 seconds. That's also a nice to know thing. Uh, so this works great to carry around uh, while camping especially if you're in an area that uh, has a lot of bears in it. 
So this is again, just a nice to have. And I'll usually keep this in the backpack or in like a water bottle pouch when we go hiking. Uh, not again, not necessary, but nice to have. Haven't had to use it yet, so that's good. Next up, we got some cotton balls that are soaked in Vaseline. I learned this from a channel, I believe it's the Sensible Prepper. Uh, I'll put his link to his channel down below. This is a great idea and it, it works great as a, a fire starting source. And just some old newspaper. Next up, I got these, uh, they came in a pack of four. I just got three of them because I keep one in the bedroom just in case. But these three camping lights, I keep them closed with some electrical tape here. But all you gotta do is slide them open. And they're pretty bright at night. I do not like how uh, blue the light is, but that's all right. Easy to use. We can close it off to uh, adjust the brightness of it. And we'll usually hang one of these inside the Jeep and we can station two of them around for at night. The way these are charged are, looks like three, three double A's there. They say these are water, waterproof. We haven't had it rain on us yet but uh, I'm assuming they'll hold up. Although now that I see the seal at the bottom, I don't have too much faith in them fully being soaked for too long. Uh, but again, this is something that works great. I think we got these for like 12 or 14 bucks on Amazon. I'll put the link down below and it comes with four of them. So, you know. Next up there are our ENO hand mocks or is it ENO? I'm not sure what the name is. Anyways, they work great. These are our, um, straps that you need and this is the double nest hammock the straps in the hammock i think we got on sale at rei so pretty great system i'm sure there's cheaper options out there uh, but we figured by once and these work great for us i have spent the night in this hammock before and did totally fine i wish i could put a cover underneath it though i know they do sell some accessories like that that you can use um, to keep my butt warm because you know when you're hanging down like that in any hammock and you got wind underneath that's going to keep you nice and cold <laughs> but it's something that's nice to just set up around around camp and and it works great next up we just have some small uh, you know emergency situation stuff we have this life straw here uh, put the link for that down below you've probably heard of it by now there's also the sawyer uh, water filter those both work great just have a couple matches here with a small lighter inside uh, this waterproof container hand sanitizer because you know it's like the end of the world right now so this is essential and just a nice blanket we've never used those before never had to uh, but again another thing that's nice to have inside your camping setup some one-off items that we also bring with us some tin foil for cooking with every now and then or keeping something warm while you're cooking something else and some teepee because we all know that these state parks or wherever you're going camping if it does have a restroom they probably suck and if it doesn't have a restroom then you're going to want this because it's probably better than using a leaf um, that's about it for for the container here i'm going to put the stuff out on the table uh, get a cute little thumbnail and and we'll call for this video. If you are interested in what our sleep setup looks like, you can, I'll link the video here and you can check that one out next. But also I, I just realized I didn't include my chairs, the chairs that we usually take with us. Are these infinity chairs here? These work great, you can lay back in them. Very luxurious. And also very comfy. Uh, we usually bring those with us, but if we want like a smaller base chair, we'll just use some of those normal, you know, collapsible chair. I see we got some over here. But if we do want something smaller, we'll bring something like this. Just a nice, easy, collapsible chair, um, which also works great. Alrighty, so here it all is laid out here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button for me as it supports the channel. And if you are interested in more videos uh, similar to this one, you can click that sub subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments, uh, hit me up down below. And I will definitely be getting back to all you guys. Other than that, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. It's got that pinch handle design.